officially the first journalist to crash a prototype for a star. Okay, so we're in the gondola, we're in Andorra, and we're gonna be riding some secret bikes that you cannot see, I don't think. And I'm with Cedric Gracia, who is like uh, one of the key players of Forest Isle, really, yeah? I am. <laughs> and this, this is a pretty ballsy move. Yeah, crazy move for some people, but... Yeah, but like, so, so can you just give everyone like an idea of like why you chose to go from Santa Cruz to something that nobody has heard of so far? And don't exist. Yeah. Well, I could have it easy, but yeah. you know, I'm 41 years old, I think I have a little bit more in the bag. I love everything I do, I think they're brilliant run, they kill it and uh, people try to explain the success of Santa Cruz, it just happened because it had to happen yeah. when you have the proper bike for proper people. That's the way it is and uh, I wanted to create my own one as well with a different way. I still think a lot of stuff is not being done in mountain biking Yeah. and uh, I love cars like everyone knows and I want to create basically the Tesla biking. Yeah, I mean, I've heard this a lot from the guys from the marketing team, like, and like, you can see it, there's like, we can't talk about it, but it's, it's completely new. And it, this is part of what that drew you to the company. Yeah? Exactly. It drew me into the company because all this different kind of engineer from different area, we have people from MotoGP, aviation, car yeah. racing, all those people have a different eyes than what we have. We, mountain bikers, we just think in the same area, those people, explore different routes and I need those people in and uh, that's what it really convinced me to go into that plan. I mean it's ballsy I know but yeah. hey we live only once and I think we have something good. Yeah so I mean like um, obviously like uh, it, in the end there'll be like a, a range of different bikes and everything but like and, and obviously there's the there's the different way you're doing things but what do you think will be like the main uh, like selling point of the bike like is it uh, is it like the culture behind the bike? Is it that the... Yeah, the, just all the philosophy. Where we started with all the influence and uh, we want to make this bike for massive people and for great pricing yeah. and something would look like, all right, I'm not going to have anything else than this bike yeah. because all this technology and uh, and it's made in Andorra. Yeah. All right. Carbon factor in Andorra. And that's the, <laughs> that was the gondola chat. Right then. Here we are. <laughs> See you all soon. We're Bye. going to ride. Okay. Whoa. That was rad. Whoa, you can't see. That was rad. That was mad. That's so good. That was well good. Okay, actually, we were just talking then. Uh, we've just done a quick run, and Cedric left me for dust because <laughs> he's an amazing rider and I'm crap. But uh, <laughs> you're not crap. <laughs> so, uh, I show you crap. But, yeah, you're not crap. <laughs> so actually, we we were just talking then, and it's like um, you said, like people ask the same question. It's like, and I, I know the things that we can talk about and what we can't talk about. So, what are the most obvious questions that people ask about Forest Out? Why your bike is it going to be so different? Uh, how much trial are you going to have? What kind of wheel size are you going to have? Uh, what, has, what are the angles? Uh, how many frames are you going to make? Um, and just I, to be sure, we're not going to answer any of these questions on this video. <laughs> but What kind of bike are you going to make? Muscular bike, e-bike? Uh, are you going to make road bike, gravel? I don't say I find it all my life. I find it on my last brand. Mm -hmm. Something you just get on there and you know it's yours. Yeah, yeah. It, you feel at home right yeah, away, yeah? You feel at home and this for me is really important. I don't like to go on something and feel awkward right away and people try to convince that this is a new thing or the new angles. I'm like, no. If yeah, because, I don't feel right, yeah, the I end, don't feel right. Yeah, at the end it's your feelings. It's yeah, all right exactly. people saying like, it's like in the UK we have the longer, 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 longer. But it yeah. doesn't, it doesn't for everyone. It's yeah. not for everyone, is no. it? Especially when you go to tight ass corner. How do you do that? 
was a long, long, long thing. We don't. We go straight. Yeah, exactly. We make a new line. We make a well, new line. My bike is so stable, but yeah, when I, I start cornering, it's not getting in there. Yeah, but oh, it's so well, stable no, over yeah. the bumps too. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because you you're getting between the two bumps. That's why. <laughs> I've just done some runs with Cedric, and uh, that was fun. It was really, really exciting. I've had to change some settings on the fork. Uh, the rest of the bike itself is really. It feels pretty good. Um, because it's, it's secret and I've had to sign an NDA, I can't really disclose any details of the bike at this stage. But I can tell you from my first impressions, it's, it's pretty stable, even though oh, it's very stable, even though I'm, I'm riding a medium, which is not really a frame size I would normally go for. I would tend to go for a large. I don't know the reach on this, but again, it does feel a bit shorter than what I'm personally used to. And I would like to try the large, but you know, it is what it is. It's a prototype, there are, there are no others to try. But first impressions are pretty good. It's, um, yeah, it picks up speed very well. Um, I'm hoping now with the fork tune it changed a little bit that I'll be able to retain some speed a little bit. Feels very confident in the air even though I'm not the greatest jumper in the world. And because it is a bit shorter, it's really nice and whippy around the corners. Yeah, overall the feeling's really good. The pedal platform is very good. It doesn't squat around, it doesn't bob about. It's, that's a, it's a really, really nice platform. And yesterday when I rode it on some climbs, it climbed really, really well. It was pretty impressive. I'm a bit stuck to say as to what I can actually tell you because like I say, it is a prototype and it is secret, but I can tell you that it's just behind this Perspex glass. And yeah, it's a very interesting project and hopefully I'll be able to reveal more uh, in the coming months and hopefully I'll be back again to see how uh, Forest Style have changed, how they've grown and how they've built their manufacturing and everything else here in Andorra. So yeah, I'm nearly at the top now. Uh, gonna do some more riding and hopefully stay on the bike. See you all soon. So yeah, it feels really poppy and braking feels good. Now that the suspension is really good the front end and the back end i have no complaints at all and uh, i've got to trust the tires because although it's dusty it's actually all right i'm not doing the tabletop because they may not look it but they're pretty big oh that's not so good they get a lot of traffic these trails And yeah, now I'm trusting the bike a lot more into jumping stuff. Yeah, it feels good. It feels good. I feel like I might have my riding mojo back again. A little bit off recently. Yeah. Feels pretty good. Well, uh, into stuff, being a bit more aggressive with it. Yes, yes, feels good. And twisting it way more. This is better, 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 better. It's better, oh, yes, <laughs> this is it, this is it. I couldn't do that before because I did not twist the fork. But this is good now, this feels nice. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And I think we're going to have another chat with the Forestal uh, marketing guys. They're going to tell us a little bit more about Forestal and their plans, their grand scheme to take over the bike industry. Hi guys, hi everybody. I'm Rafa Hill, Chief Marketing Officer at Forestal. And we're here in what will be our new facilities in Andorra. As you know, we're creating a cool bike brand where everything is made in Andorra. So you will see later on how big this is. It is really, really big. And I wanted to talk to you a little bit about how the marketing team is working in towards creating the bike brand. It's always cool to talk about the features of the bike, uh, the range we will have. We will have a wider range of what you've seen already, not only enduro, but also focusing on trail and other categories that I cannot mention now. Sorry, we are in a prototype stage. But it's uh, really nice to come here to a new project where your decisions really have an effect from the very beginning and you have just like a blank sheet of paper and you have to write it. So 
think about all bike brands all have a uh, past and have a story to tell. So you come here and you just have to create a story, create something cool to tell to the people and also that has a sense and connection with what you are doing. Uh, this is the top floor where the offices will be. We also have a place to, to rest. We also, well, in fact, we have some place to chill out and, uh, around all the factory. The factory has eight floors. And yeah, I wanted to show you because we are in Andorra. It's going to be, well, one of the major, the big features of being in Andorra is when you want to have like a rest or chill and you come and see this. So this inspires you a lot. So come by, this, is, this will be hopefully our private barbecue party for a stall area. Uh, so if you like nature, you're in the correct place. Yeah. And I hope it inspires us a, a lot. Hey, I'm Damien from Production Privé, and we are in Andorra, Andorra La Vella, more specifically, in what will be uh, our new offices and production facility. Uh, so yeah, big news. Uh, production Privé is joining the rank of Forestal. I always wanted the, the company uh, uh, to grow, and uh, obviously joining Forestal, we will, we will be able to push the envelope and bring more uh, quality products into the market. And uh, one of the biggest, uh, one of the best points of that is, uh, is that we are building a, a production unit here in Andorra. It's a crazy project, and, but uh, I think uh, the best changes uh, comes with, uh, with uh, some bold moves, so two floors. And uh, so this will be the, the office space. Uh, we have like the big terrace, we have 900 um, square meters roughly. And um, so yeah. Offices for designers, engineers, administrative work, sales force. So this floor um, will be divided into, into, uh, into parts. One side will be uh, the there will be the restaurant of the company, and uh, a big uh, a big uh, chilling zone for people to uh, to uh, to chill out, to uh, to relax. So here is the ground floor, um, and it's where uh, we are going to start to build a carbon frame. Uh, we need some EV floors and strong floors, sorry, uh, because uh, you have to imagine that uh, uh, a, cu a curing line, uh, the total machinery can weigh up to uh, 100, 120 tons. So uh, from that wall to the, uh, to the other bottom, we, here we will be manufacturing the and curing the frames. On uh, that side of the, of, the, of the floor, we will be doing the lamination which needs to be clean and then go into the curing. Okay, one thing also where we need a lot of space and height, uh, it's the testing lab. All the test machines are quite high and, uh, and it's also very loud. So we will be uh, segment the, the, the test lab uh, on that side of the, of the floor with, uh, um, how do you say, uh, soundproof uh, uh, panels and compartments. Hi to everyone, I'm Danny Trios, uh, marketing manager at Forestal, part of the marketing team and yeah, helping to develop the brand and get it, get it into the world. Um, regarding how everything started, it was like nearly eight months ago or something like that. And yeah, uh, two shareholders got together, Ilya Rose and Antonia Ashuk, uh, with a great idea. They wanted to bring something new to the mountain bike uh, industry and try to change a little bit the world, uh, trying to inspire the customers with something new that really brings an added value to the industry. And yeah, that's how we got together. I mean, the team is really big right now. We're, I mean, the project is huge. Uh, we're about like 40 guys already, nearly working. The design team, the marketing team, engineering. We got people from the uh, mountain bike industry. We got people from uh, the motorcycle industry, even the car industry, aeronautics. So yeah, we are like super excited on this one. And um, and yeah, uh, working a lot. Uh, we are now finishing our prototypes, our prototypes, the second phase of them. Uh, there are some things I can say for now, but uh, yeah, it's going to be a big surprise for everybody. That's what we are waiting for. 
Yeah, for sure. We're not uh, another bike brand. Uh, our concept goes far beyond. We would like to establish ourselves as more some kind of tech brand. And uh, we're starting with the mountain bike industry, but who knows, maybe tomorrow we'll go to another, to another industry. Hey everyone, so this is my last morning in Barcelona for my trip with uh, Forest Style. Uh, I've been pretty lucky really. I'm the first journalist to uh, actually go and to the Forest Style headquarters in Barcelona. I'm the first journo to see the prototypes and ride the prototypes. And I'm the first journo to crash one of their bikes, which is a, a bonus as well. So while I've been here over the past uh, few days, it's been a, like a hectic visit, but it's been really fun and informative. I've been to the headquarters where I've seen uh, more like a tech company. They have engineers from all walks of uh, backgrounds. They've got um, people who are doing the software and other things. And motorsports engineers, it's just incredible the, the assets they have in that building. And then I've been to their um, facility in Andorra, which is currently being uh, modified for their needs. And it's massive, it's eight, eight floors. And looking at the concepts, it's going to be like basically an Apple style headquarters, but an Andorra building high tech mountain bikes. So it's really, really exciting project. And I honestly can't wait to come back to see what they do with it all over the next few months. I can't talk about the bike, as I've already mentioned, because I've had to sign an NDA. It's all top secret. I can tell you the feeling of the bike. And I have to say it's very, very stable at speed. It's great at cornering. This rear suspension is actually it's a bit of a revelation. It feels really planted, um, efficient, and it handles small hits and big hits really, really well. It's just something I didn't have to think about at all. Even on my first run with CG, when I wasn't really happy with the forks performance, the back end and the rest of the bike just worked really, really well. Uh, and then my second run with the fork working was just incredible. I mean, I wish I could have been out for longer and ridden more but we just spent too long there and, and the park, bike park had closed. So yeah, I mean, this is their first look at uh, Forest Isle. I mean, I understand a few of you guys are gonna be frustrated because we couldn't show you the bike, we couldn't tell you any of the tech specs, but at least now you know a little bit about the brand and what to look forward to. The guys at Forest Isle have already said that I'm more than welcome to come back in a three or four months time to see how they've got on with the development of the bikes and also uh, to see how the headquarters have changed who's been hired and also look at their facility again. So that's going to be really good. So yeah, um, if you want to keep following this story, keep an eye on what I'm posting and uh, hopefully I'll be able to release more details about Forest Style and the Forest Style project and basically everything they're doing pretty soon. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it and uh, don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions, please feel free to let me know in the comments below. But remember, if it's tech specs, I'm not gonna be able to tell you just yet, but uh, watch this space for more. Cheers guys, bye bye. It's not an Andy ride, if I don't land on my face. Yeah, we can, we don't see shit. Okay, okay, cool. No, we good. <laughs> Sorry, I, I see shit. That's fine, it's okay. Twice now. It's okay, it's okay. <laughs>